Hey guys, welcome back. So listen, I'm trying to kick out some bits today. So that's what we doing. Um, yeah, so I'm making these videos a lot shorter, a lot more condensed, a lot precise to kind of maybe one color, one brand, just to make it a little bit shorter so everybody don't got to get a whole snack and a whole meal. Um, but either way, don't judge me, judge your mama, your girl been shopping and it just is what it is. So this particular one, um, well, first let me just say, <laughs> y'all, let me tell you what happened to me. My niece had a band performance. And it was at one of the performing arts centers. And silly me, all I thought was take a small purse. I don't want to have to hold anything big. Um, take something small, short and sweet, just the essentials. I'm good to go. What I didn't remember is that it's still considered a county event. And any county events or at a county school is still considered school property. Therefore, clear bags are mandatory. So what did I have to do? Put my purse in the car. What do I absolutely despise doing? Putting my purse or leaving my purse in a car without a person in it to walk watch it so I was freaked out needless to say the place was like 35 minutes from home I was not about to drive back home um, so I did just hide my purse but I kept my wallet um, on me and I was wearing like a really pretty hoodie so I just kind of stuffed it in my hoodie pocket um, but long story short between that um, Jazz's you know grandparents brunch um, you know the graduation all of those different events they're all gonna require clear bags even though I'd rather take something super cute and sexy I will not have that option. So I do own the large clear tote from Amazon that I've shown you guys before and done a what's in my bag on. I also own the smaller little kind of crossbody short shoulder carry um, little clear bag that I take to like their award ceremonies. But I wanted something with, you know, more colors. I wanted more options, things of that nature. So long story short, I picked up some clear bags from Dooney and Burke. So this one is stuffed with the pillow that's normally in front of my vanity because I am planning to use this one today. Um, Jazz has joined a county flag football team so she can kind of keep playing. Um, and so she has some games this afternoon and I'm going to use this cutie for the first time. So these things are quite hard to open. So I stuffed the pillow in here this morning in hopes that it does kind of loosen it up a little bit um, so I can get my things in here without it trying to fold over on me. So this is the lunch size tote. Um, this is the one with the ducks all over it and it does have the yellow handle super super cute this one's great for a nice good hand carry or throw it on your arm it's got a pretty decent booty so you can fit a good amount in here this is going to be larger than the little cute chain strap shoulder clear bag but smaller than that huge tote that I normally take to her games so I'm excited to carry this today everybody else is still flat because I have not used them yet and honestly I don't have anywhere to store all of these y'all if you've seen my updated Layla's boutique y'all already know what I'm working with and I ain't working with a lot anymore so I did make one quick change my son is actually in there building the quick change that I did decide to make that's gonna help a little bit especially if um, I can go sit down for a little while so <laughs> this is the medium tote I think it's called a medium shopper yeah so this is the medium shopper and this is in the same print as the smaller bag this is the one with the ducks all over it again it also has the yellow handle this one just still has the plastic over it um, super cute this one does have these are really hard to open y'all so I'm not going to open them on camera but it has a very nice size booty. This one would be more of the equivalent size to that larger tote that I normally carry. It would just allow me to have more kind of color and bring more spice to my outfit and that was the reason why I picked these up because even though we have to carry these clear bags for all these events, y'all know I love me some colors so I added some color to my collection. So I got that particular duck one online i wanted to get the lunch size of this as well but they only had the larger size which is the medium shopper so this one is also the medium shopper this color is called doodle let me see if this one has a name i don't think it does yeah well it says duck in the um in the corner but it's not listed with the name so this one says doodle media sh medium shopper and it does say fuchsia on the tag if anybody wanted to see that um so this one does have medium straps again they all still have their plastic and tags on them except for the one i'm carrying today so this one is very busy very colorful but i think this is going to be a great bag especially in the summer um and anytime that i do need to go to any of those mandatory clear bag events so i picked that one up and then I wanted to get the standard one that isn't too, too busy. This one is the one with the DBs all over it. The tag says medium shopper and it doesn't say as far as the color. So it's this one here. But I wanted to get this one for events or outfits where maybe I'm a little more dressy or maybe I just didn't want to be too colorful. But of course, with all the colors, I can still be super colorful if I want to and have a larger size tote bag where I need to carry more things. 
And then of course, in true Layla fashion, I got the smaller one. This one, I am hands down, a thousand percent already sure. This is what I'll be carrying for Jazz's graduation. I think it's gonna look very great. Um, very dainty and petite, not too big, but of course, kind of still have some color and be, you know, be a part of my um, aesthetic, if you will, because y'all know I'm not too much of a kind of plain Jane kind of person. I like to keep things a little spicy sometimes. So this one says lunch bag, it does say clear. I don't know if that's what they consider the color of the medium shopper as well, but this is the one with the DBs all over it. So it's the same size as the duck one. The lunch size tote is just flat and, you know, not stuffed yet. So super cute. I have said before that I do love PVC pouches and, you know, PVC things. So I was happy to go ahead and add these to my collection. I did not have them. Um, I watched a few, you know, kind of what's in my bags and a couple of kind of like other people's hauls on these, but I was really eager to get my hands on one, but they did want a pretty penny for these two. So I had to wait a couple of weeks for them to come down on the price because they were tripping and I live nowhere near an outlet. So I had to wait for those to come down on the price and be on sale. Uh, next, I did not want to pay for shipping, so I added this charm. Um, I did place separate orders, like I said, because I had to wait for those to come down in price, and they did not come up to the total for shipping being free. So I added the duck, which I have not taken out of the plastic yet, but I added the Dooney duck charm um, to that particular order so that I could go ahead and get the free shipping. So super excited about this. It's definitely a weighted charm. I don't think I realized how um, heavy it was going to be, but it's super, super cute. Let me see. It just says gold on the tag it doesn't really say anything fancy that would be helpful so I picked that charm up and then um, I showed you guys the nano size um, Dooney and Burke satchel and I have always 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 wanted a brown tomorrow bag I didn't have one I would love a Hattie in that um, but I have not seen it and so my second you know second kind of favorite bag when it comes to Dunia Burke is going to be the actual satchel but I don't like the normal size it's heavy it's huge the large size is even bigger even heavier so I decided I'm only going to get the nano, the micro, and then the mini. I haven't obtained a micro yet, which is the one in the middle of the three that I'm comfortable purchasing and carrying. Um, I'm kind of on the fence on whether I, what like what color I want, um, but I did go ahead and grab the mini because they had a sale and I was able to get it for a good deal. So this is the mini sized satchel and this is in the color brown tomorrow. I am so happy with y'all, with her, excuse me, so, so happy with her, y'all. She is absolutely gorgeous. This brown tomorrow leather is so pretty, oh my God. And I did get lucky enough to get one that does have that nice smooth leather. She smells, you could get high off these bags, I swear. Um, so this is the mini size. I have not carried her yet. I have not been able to find um, a matching wallet for her yet. My favorite wallet with Dooney & Burke is gonna be that Mo um, small zip around wallet. I actually sold my Continental wallets. And if anybody's interested, I do still have the Hydrangea color one, the cream hydra Hydrangea Continental wallet. It is currently on my Macari, but of course I can sell it to you for cheaper because we won't have to worry about fees. So if you're interested in that, please just send me a DM on Instagram way faster than comments because I know I got some comments to catch up on. Um, but I did already sell the other one that I had. So yeah, you guys, this is the largest size satchel that I've ever gonna purchase, which is the mini size. Now, of course, never say never, but y'all know these things can get weighty. They're heavy, empty. Of course, they get heavier as you put things in them. But the brown tomorrow, oh my God, y'all, is so pretty in person. Just look at that. I just can't. I just can't. So right now, I'm thinking, because I don't have a matching wallet, I'm either gonna do like the full theme inside be a certain color, let's just say purple, and then I'll just do a purple wallet, or I may just do, you know, whatever color setup I'm gonna do inside. Um, and then for the wallet, maybe just use this particular one because I also want a bag in the chestnut color. And I did pick up the Deluxe Mo wallet in the chestnut color. They were on sale, or at least the price was a sale, it was a discount, but then they were in status pre-order. And lucky for me, the pre-order did ship. So I did get it in chestnut. Um, chestnut is one of the colors I'm deciding between for the uh, micro size that I want, which is a little smaller than this, but larger than the nano. So we'll see. I think it looks nice together, um, but I also think utilizing other colors would be cute as well. So that's the beauty of Dooney Burke. You kind of can use whatever you like. But I did pick this bag up while I was shopping my tail off recently. So chestnut color. And then I do have 
the um, black hattie and I wanted to get the matching wallet. So this is the Florentine zip around wallet. This is the deluxe mo wallet. This is in the black black. Super happy to have this to my collection. Of course, with this being black, it's a nice neutral. So if I wanted to use this for other things, um, I definitely could. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm glad I did pause video and answer, y'all. She in a furniture store? Y'all. Oh, wow. God, she's seeing some cute stuff. Okay, back to this baby. Um, I wanted this wallet to match my hattie. Y'all know I like to get one matching piece, mainly the wallet, to go every bag I get. If I can get a pouch as well, I like that, but definitely a wallet, and I did not have this wallet. As y'all know, I bought a bunch of hatties last year. I started with the fuchsia pink one, and I just fell in love, and oh my God, I had to have it. Um, so I did pick up the black, plus I also have the... Um, the satchel, the Dunia Burke satchel in the regular size and the pebble leather that I showed you guys in a haul last year. And because it's black, you can put anything with it. So I plan to put anything with it, but I was thinking I also could use the Florentine wallet inside of it, even though it's two different leathers if I wanted. And again, it's a black on black on black, so it's neutral. It's got the beautiful gold hardware, so I can use it with any setup or any bag I want if I just want it, you know, a compact full size <laughs> wallet um, to go in another bag. So I did pick up the black. And then y'all, when I tell you I have wanted this wallet since I got the bag, you guys, they finally had the Fuchsia Pink Mo Wallet to match my Hattie. When I saw this, y'all, I screamed. I screamed. The only con is, just like those, it said pre-order. So it wasn't something that immediately shipped. Um, I want to say it probably was about 10 days and I did not even get a shipped email. I actually did the little live chat um, and say, you know, hey, I'm not really sure how pre-orders work. This is my first time with the rodeo, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, they already shipped all of them. Come again, say what? How y'all shipping stuff and not telling nobody? But apparently they shipped and for some reason I didn't get the emails. But yeah, you guys, this is the beautiful fuchsia pink to go with my fuchsia hattie. Let's see if it's on the tag. Nope. The wallet tags, I feel like, as well as the coin cases, they are super skimpy. Like, they don't have information on them. But anyway, I did pick up the Fuchsia one. I'm so, so excited. Um, I just realized I didn't show you guys the inside of the black one. But the inside of the pink one is the same solid pink. Um, same, you know, Dooney wallet setup. You got money in the back. These pieces don't open in the center, but you got four credit card slots on each side. You could double up if you want. I don't. You do have the single pocket on the outside where I put my main card, and then you do have the zipper compartment on the back for coins. But lately, I've been obsessed with using my round coin purse from Louis Vuitton, so I have not been putting my coins in here when I carry um, this wallet. So let me show you guys the inside of the other two. My bad. So we've got the black one, same thing. It's all black, smooth leather on the inside. And then the chestnut one, same thing. Chestnut color, smooth leather, same setup, all that fun stuff. So yes, you guys, these are the little wallets that I picked up. Super excited, y'all. I swear the pink, I'm just like, I just can't. I don't even know. You kind of, sort of can see Miss Hattie tucked back here. If I move this, y'all, I can't wait. I just can't stinking wait. Oh, it's going to be so cute together. So cute together. So, yeah. That is the wallets. And I think that's everything, y'all, from the Dooney haul. I did not bring over um, the coin cases. There's really only two other, well... I'm not going to worry about that. I picked up a couple of coin cases, y'all. The pebbled leather was on sale. I didn't bring them over here. I'm sorry. I showed you guys the Clementine, the orange one inside of the logo lock bag. I also picked up the fuchsia pink one, um, the spearmint. Um, you know what? Hold on. Okay, you guys, I went and grabbed the other things so that I would have them right here. Now, keep in mind, I did not buy all these things in one week and one day. This is like a month worth of shopping. Maybe five weeks. I'm not sure. I know it was sometime around, I would say around the time of the sneaker ball because I um, moved into the Black Hattie um, kind of mid-February-ish. And then after that, that smell just, I just went down the Dooney rabbit hole. <laughs> um, so here's the wallet that I talked about at the beginning of the video that's for sale, the Dooney and Burke Continental Wallet. This is in the Hydrangea print with a gold zipper on the inside. Looks like, oh, thing. Looks like so. It does have a few 
little like scratches and marks on the smooth leather here from the credit cards and using the wallet i didn't use it very much it's still in extreme like new condition <laughs> um but this is available for grabs if anybody's interested this just isn't my cup of tea type of wallet um so i did sell my db75 one like this already and then this one is also um up for grabs but the coin cases i was kind of sort of like i mentioned in one of my recent what's in my bag videos kind of getting bored with my keychain um just with it being black i just wanted some colors so i had a couple of ideas and one was using this um for my keys as well as for other items such as small on the go wallets so i did get the fuchsia pink and pebbled leather i got the what's it called dandelion i thought it was a little bit brighter yellow but i actually like it it's coming up way brighter on camera than in person i thought it was more of a like um like a yellow yellow but it's more closer to like a mustard yellow but it's still really really pretty it'll still be great with any type of um like fall setup or what have you so i did pick up that one and then i picked up the bone color because it's kind of like a clear not clear what am i talking about like a cream like a cream off-white color and y'all know i love me some cream off-white so i did go ahead and pick that one up let me see i think i am saying the right name yes bone and then I showed you guys the orange clementine one. This is the uh, regular size satchel that I hauled last year and showed you guys. She is still new with tags. I do have her on my list to carry soon. Um, but I brought her out so I could show you guys that I did get a matching piece to go with her. I did get the Deluxe Mo Wallet in this color. And this color is actually called white, even though it's not. It's clearly a cream, and they don't have it written on the tag. It's clearly a cream. This is in the pebbled leather, just like the bag. Same pocket on the outside. Same zipper with the braided pull on the back. I love the braided pull part. And then inside of the wallet, it also has the braided pull as far as the zipper. On the inside is this beautiful color. Same setup with your eight credit card slots. And then, of course, your cash pocket at the top. So I did pick this one up to go on with this bag. They were having a sale, you guys, and I was like, oh, give it here. If you don't have a sale, I'll get a matching wallet. At the time I got the bags, I wasn't worried about a matching wallet, but, um, well, I lie. I'll show you with the other one. At the time I got this bag and the black one, I wasn't worried about the matching wallet. Um, but for this one, at the time I got the bag, I did get the matching wallet. Hold on one second, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> This is one of the reasons why I'll be filming because I'll be trying to film when it's like either the house is empty or everybody's completely occupied and I know that I'll be uninterrupted and it just, it ain't been happening, but sorry about the pausing. Anyway, this one I also hauled last year. I didn't get this recently. I did get this charm recently though. Y'all look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's on Amazon, you guys. Gorgeous. Um... This bag, when I got the bag, all three of them, plus the black, I did get a matching wallet with this, but I did send that wallet back. I moved into it. I carried it a few days. I did not like that wallet, you guys. I don't know. It just got way too, I like to use the term pregnant, but it got way too fat and bulky, and I don't like fat and bulky wallets. I just don't. I, I don't know. I just don't. So anyway, this is the color Spearmint, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Spearmint. So again, these Pebble wallets were on sale a couple weeks back, and I did go ahead and grab these colors this one matches the bag perfectly super excited about that braided pull as well front pocket again this is the deluxe mo wallet so you guys know it's the same setup for all of them but the inside is that pretty um i forget what they call this color i have to figure it out because it's on like the side of the bag as well i just can't think of the name right now but i did pick up the wallet and then they also had the coin case when they were on sale they had it in the spearmint color as well so i did go ahead and pick that up to go with the bag and i thought they just look gorgeous together so i've already placed them inside of the bag since that is my new kind of storage method is to store matching wallets and pieces inside the bag um, to help with space so i figured i would just go ahead and grab those things and show them to you guys um to go along with the haul because i did pick those things up like I said, as I've been collecting some of these Dooney items. So that's everything, you guys. That's all of the Dooney items I have right here recently. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about all the stop and pauses and stuff. Um, but thank you guys for rocking with me and watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.